Rita Gam, a name etched in the classic Hollywood era, leaves us pondering lesser-known facets of her life. Do you harbor any intriguing anecdotes about this actress? Or perhaps there's a particular work of hers that resonates with you? Share your cherished memories and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned for a journey through some funny, shocking, and poignant facts about Rita Gam. Keep watching for more and let the nostalgia unfold in the comments. A prominent actress, Rita Gam, left an enduring impact on the film industry during her era and beyond. Her contribution to Hollywood is marked by a compelling blend of talent and versatility. In the mid-20th century, she emerged as a significant figure, showcasing her acting prowess in various roles. Navigating the Hollywood landscape with finesse, she made her mark in an era dominated by iconic personalities. Her influence went beyond the screen, contributing to the evolution of storytelling and cinema. Her ability to portray diverse characters with authenticity and depth set her apart. Performances resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. As Hollywood underwent transformations, Gam adapted, showcasing her adaptability and resilience. Beyond her on-screen contributions, she played a pivotal role in shaping the narrative of female characters. Breaking away from conventional stereotypes, she brought nuance and substance to her roles, challenging the norms of her time. This paved the way for future actresses to explore a wider range of characters contributing to the industry's evolution. Her impact extended to the cultural fabric of Hollywood, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of audiences. Her influence transcended her era, inspiring subsequent generations of actors and filmmakers. The echoes of her legacy continue to resonate in the art of cinema. In conclusion, Rita Gam's enduring influence on the film industry lies in her ability to transcend boundaries, shape narratives, and inspire change. Her contributions have left an indelible mark, shaping the trajectory of Hollywood for generations to come. When comparing Rita Gam with her contemporaries, it becomes evident that she possessed unique qualities that set her apart. During her era, she shared the spotlight with several talented actors and actresses, each contributing distinct attributes to the cinematic landscape. Her peers included individuals known for their prowess in emotive performances and compelling portrayals. However, what distinguished Rita Gam was a subtle yet powerful screen presence. She had an ability to convey depth and nuance with understated elegance, making her performances memorable. While some of her counterparts may have been known for more dramatic flair or overt expressions, her strength lay in the ability to convey a range of emotions with nuanced subtlety. This set her apart as an actress who could captivate audiences through the quiet intensity of performances. In terms of versatility, Rita Gam navigated through various genres with ease, proving adaptability and skill across different roles. Peers may have excelled in specific niches, but her capacity to seamlessly transition between characters showcased a distinctive aspect of acting prowess. In summary, Rita Gam's unique qualities in delivering understated yet powerful performances, along with versatility across genres, distinguish her from peers of the era. The impact on the cinematic landscape remains notable, offering a perspective that complements the broader tapestry of talent during that time. Born to Romanian Jewish immigrant Belle Fateley and Milton Amake in Alsace-Lorraine, Rita Gam faced an interesting twist in her career. In 1956, she was offered a role in the Ten Commandments. However, when interviewed with by Cecil B. Demel, she asserted her lack of religious inclination, leading to her non-selection. Following her father's death in 1931, her mother, Belle, remarried in 1932 to Benjamin J. Gam, a Russian Jewish immigrant. Consequently, Rita adopted the surname Gam. In the annals of her life, her stepfather's name became significant. The decision to take on the name Gam marked a pivotal moment in her personal narrative, shaping her identity beyond familial ties. This choice would influence not only her career, but also how she was perceived in the public eye. Despite the challenges, Rita Gam navigated the entertainment industry with determination, leaving an indelible mark on the world of film. Actress Rita Gam, born to Romanian Jewish immigrants Belle Fateley and Milton Amake in Alsace-Lorraine, faced a notable twist early in her career. In 1956, she declined a role in the Ten Commandments during an interview with Cecil B. Demel, citing her lack of religious inclination. 
This decision marked a crucial point in her personal narrative, shaping her identity beyond familial ties and influencing her career trajectory. Following her father's death in 1931, Rita's mother, Belle, remarried in 1932 to Benjamin J. Gam, a Russian Jewish immigrant. Consequently, she adopted the surname Gam, a choice that held significance throughout her life. Navigating the challenges of the entertainment industry with determination, she left an impact on the world of film. Her journey extends beyond her career in film. In a unique connection to royalty, she served as a bridesmaid at Grace Kelly's wedding to Prince Rainier of Monaco. This association provided a glimpse into the intriguing intersections of her life. The acting journey began in 1946, leading to a screen test and signing with MGM in 1952. Personal milestones included her marriage to Thomas Henry Ginsburg, with whom she had two children, daughter Kate Ginsburg and son Michael Ginsburg. Rita Gam's life and career encapsulate a fascinating narrative marked by unique choices, personal connections, and a determined presence in the entertainment industry. Featured on the cover of Life magazine in September 1952, Rita Gam's public presence soared, marking a significant moment in her career and thrusting her into the spotlight. Following this exposure, she delved into the entertainment industry, leaving a lasting impact. Her daughter, Kate Ginsburg, played a pivotal role in the film production landscape. From 1990 to 2000, she served as a producer with Michelle Pfeiffer's production company, Vinrosa Productions. This connection not only reflects familial ties, but also showcases Rita Gam's influence within the industry. In the realm of theatrical experiences, Gam became a subject in Harold J. Kennedy's book, No Pickle, No Performance. The book provides insights into Kennedy's experiences working with actors, including Gam, shedding light on the intricacies of the theatrical world. From the cover of Life magazine to family connections in film production and insights into theatrical engagements, her journey extends beyond the silver screen, revealing a multifaceted career and influence in the entertainment landscape. A member of the Actors Studio, Rita Gam is best known for her extensive interviews, numbering in the hundreds, focusing on Grace Kelly. Her career faced a brief suspension in October 1953 when she turned down the lead role in the Martin Lewis comedy, Living It Up. This decision marked a significant moment in her professional trajectory. Despite this setback, her influence extended beyond acting. Notably, she served as a bridesmaid at Grace Kelly's wedding to Prince Rainier of Monaco, providing a unique connection to royalty. Her public presence soared after being featured on the cover of Life magazine in September 1952, propelling her into the entertainment spotlight. In addition to her film career, her engagement with the Actors Studio showcases a commitment to honing her craft. Her role in Harold J. Kennedy's book, No Pickle, No Performance, delves into the intricacies of the theatrical world, offering insights into her experiences as an actor. Her daughter, Kate Ginsburg, played a pivotal role in the film production landscape from 1990 to 2000, serving as a producer with Michelle Pfeiffer's production company, Vinrosa Productions. This familial connection reflects lasting influence within the industry. From turning down roles to involvement with the actor's studio, the journey is characterized by decisive choices and a determined presence in the entertainment landscape. The impact resonates not only on screen, but also in extensive interviews and connections within the industry. In the 1974 film Garden of Death, Rita Gam made a memorable appearance at a costume party. What set her apart was her choice of attire portraying a character from King of Kings. This unique nod to her own cinematic history showcased a connection to the roles played on the silver screen. This particular instance adds a layer to her career, emphasizing engagement with past roles. It highlights a deliberate choice to bring a character from one film into a different context, providing a glimpse into the approach to the craft. The ability to seamlessly integrate on-screen characters into personal appearances speaks to a commitment to acting and the impact of roles on identity. Beyond this intriguing moment in Garden of Death, her career was marked by decisive choices, familial connections, and a determined presence in the entertainment landscape. From turning down roles to involvement with the actor's studio, the journey reflects consistent dedication to the craft. This connection to past characters serves as a testament to the depth of engagement with the world of film. 
born to Romanian Jewish immigrants Belle Fakely and Milton Amake in Alsace-Lorraine, Rita Gam faced a pivotal moment in her career when declining a role in the Ten Commandments due to her lack of religious inclination. This decision marked a turning point in her professional trajectory. After adopting the surname Gam following her mother's remarriage, she navigated the entertainment industry with determination, leaving an impact on the world of film. Her public presence soared after being featured on the cover of Life magazine in September 1952, propelling her into the entertainment spotlight. Beyond her film career, she engaged with the actor's studio, showcasing a commitment to honing her craft. Notably, she served as a bridesmaid at Grace Kelly's wedding to Prince Rainier of Monaco, establishing a unique connection to royalty. In 1974, she made a memorable appearance in the film Garden of Death, donning attire that paid homage to her cinematic history by portraying a character from King of Kings. This choice added a layer to her career, emphasizing her connection to on-screen roles and providing insight into her approach to the craft. Despite facing a brief suspension in 1953 for turning down a lead role, her influence extended beyond acting. Her daughter, Kate Ginsberg, played a pivotal role in film production, serving as a producer with Michelle Pfeiffer's production company from 1990 to 2000. Rita Gam's career, marked by decisive choices and familial connections, reflects consistent dedication to the craft with the ability to seamlessly integrate past characters into personal appearances, highlighting the depth of her engagement with the world of film. This straightforward account of her journey encompasses key moments in her career, from career-defining decisions to familial connections and her unique approach to on-screen roles.